Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Dirk Metal video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at Tech Trunks Kid, who recently got his EZA as a part of the latest celebration to come to DBZ Dirk Metal Global and to get a pretty good feel uh, for how good his EZA is. Now, Tech Trunks Kid is a free to play unit, which means don't expect him to blow the world apart, but he has his versatility and utility that is pretty useful. He's a movie hero's category lead of key plus three, HP attack and defense is 77%. He's a tech time lead of 50%. He raises attack and raises defense one turn and causes supreme damage to the enemy on his standard shining slash attack. He also has a unit super attack that will be activated whenever there's an ally whose name includes Tapion attacking in the same turn. He has attack and defense of 120% and additional attack and defense of 100% when performing a super attack, a medium chance of performing a critical hit, and an additional attack and defense of 15% per movie hero's category ally attacking on the team. He gives the attack to enemies minus 20% attack for two turns. Key plus two and all allies defense are plus 40% when there's an ally whose name includes Tapion on the team or when there's a movie boss's category enemy. The attack enemy's defense is minus 30% for two turns. He gets key plus two and all allies get attack of 40% when there's an ally whose name includes Tapion attacking in the same turn or when there is a movie boss's category enemy. Z Fighters, the Innocence, Royal Lineage, World Tournament Champion, Money, 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 Solid Support and Sharing the Limit are his link skills, and Hybrid Sands, Movie Heroes, Vegeta's Family, Youth, Gifted Warriors, Bond of Friendship, Entrusted Will, Bond of Parent and Child, and Earthbred Fighters is his categories. Now, to cut a long story short, his link set, terrible. Absolutely shocking. The worst link set, or one of the worst link sets in the game. I think he has a max of four links that he shares with the uh, main unit. So like that's the max amount of links he can share and none of them are pretty good. So all in all, his links are terrible. Uh, out of all of them, Shire the Limit, Royal Lineage and Innocence are kind of like the only common ones. I guess solid support, but Z Fighters is super hard to get in combination with any of these. In terms of his overall performance, it's pretty nice. Uh, if you're facing movie bosses, enemy he gives a ton of support naturally without the restriction of tapion if you're looking to run him in any other stage you probably want to have a tapion with him and that's kind of how he works so if you're facing a movie boss's enemy fantastic uh he will then be able to provide an attack and defense buff of 40 percent which is pretty good then uh of course the big thing with him is if he has a tapion he gets to fulfill those requirements now, stats-wise, the start turn defense isn't bad. 180k doesn't, I mean, so, well, between 130 to 180k doesn't look like a lot, but in reality, it's pretty good. Remember, he gets 100% attack and defense when performing a super attack. So what that means is all of those attack stats are going to kick in, uh, and he's basically going to have over 300k defense. Throw in the fact that he can raise his defense for one turn as well, and Trunks could get close to that you know 350k uh mark so i think you know for me he's pretty decent uh in terms of his position when he's battling a movie boss's character i feel like if you're in the fight against movie boss's character this guy's not a bad floater to bring around he debuffs their opposition he provides an attack and defense buff and he has a medium chance of critting uh, which is pretty good now, of course, with a Tapion, he has guaranteed crits that augments his damage quite a lot. And in terms of Link Set, there's not a lot of work that you really want to do here. So for me, you could definitely consider probably additionals and evasion being his primary build. Uh, evasion will allow him to kind of circumnavigate the super attacks that could be potentially tossed his way, whereas additionals will allow him to raise his you know, defense and also allow him to kind of benefit from that innate crit chance that he does have within this uh, build so pretty good stuff uh, overall obviously you know looking at him as a unit i think he's got potential to be a solid unit uh, in any situation where you're facing a movie boss's enemy i think he'll be quite solid in most of those situations without necessarily being a massive hindrance to you 
and I think you'll find that he'll be a pretty good, useful unit. Link-wise, he has a big problem. Don't try and prioritize his links in any way, which is why I think he's better off as a floater on a team that just happens to have a Tapion on one of the rotations. That's generally the best, or alternatively, floating support when there is a movie boss's enemy. I feel like that's the best benefit you're going to get out of him, because link-wise and everything, it's not spectacular, and although his stats are not bad after super, uh, generally speaking, there's probably better choices uh, on the, you know, situation. So, yeah, I think for me, uh, overall, it's a really, really, really good unit, uh, and yeah, um, for me, I think it looks really, really solid. So, that's basically going to be... Um, it in terms of like trunks i think overall a pretty nice free-to-play unit that's it from me bye